नमस्कार अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू जॉइनिंग यू टूडे आई एम गुल श्रेष्ठ एंड यू आर वॉचिंग अस लाइव ऑन ई विद्या चैनल नंबर नाइन एंड इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस क्लास नाइन्थ मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर क्वाड्री लेटरल सो टू एक्सप्लेन यू दिस चैप्टर इन डिटेल वी हैव विद अस बीना प्रकाश जी सीनियर पी जी टी मैथमेटिक्स कैंपियन स्कूल भोपाल वेलकम टू द सेशन मैम थैंक यू नुपुर जी एंड गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल माई लर्नर्स Thank you, ma'am. And to viewers, if you have any query related to this topic, quadrilateral, you can call us on this number eight eight zero zero four four zero five five nine, and you can also send your mail ID, send your query to this mail ID that is dth dot class nine at cit dot nic dot in, and you are also watching us live on our YouTube channel NCERT official. So let's start this session. We will talk about today quadrilateral. Yes. So, ma'am, what do you mean by quadrilateral? How will you explain this chapter and uh, first this term? Yeah, Nepur ji. Actually, this is the fourth part, and this is in fact the last part. Ji. In the previous three parts, we discussed about the quadrilaterals. So, quadrilateral is actually a closed figure, four-sided figure, and in that quadrilateral, we had special types like when the sides, opposite sides, are both the pairs of opposite sides are. parallel then that quadrilateral is known as parallelogram and if uh, in parallelogram if the adjacent side that is opposite sides are equal and each angle is 90 degree then that parallelogram is known as a rectangle also if all sides of a parallelogram are equal then it's known as a rhombus if each angle is 90 degree or 90 degree as well as all sides are equal it is a square so we have studied about different types of parallelogram and we studied about their properties properties means i'll just sum up after this sure. that is what happens what do we get in a parallelogram we find that in a parallelogram the diagonals they are bisecting each other so in a rectangle we find the rectangles diagonals they are equal in length which will be bisecting each other because a rectangle is a parallelogram so all these things we studied in the previous three classes now the last point that we have here is known as the midpoint theorem one which is connected the, to the quadrilateral only so it is related so we have taken it up as this part that is the midpoint theorem what does it say it says that a line segment joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel and half the third side now if you look at this figure you will find that in this what do you find there is a line p q which is parallel to bc line joining the midpoints that is if you have this as p is the midpoint q is the midpoint of the other side if you join them then this particular line segment pq will be parallel to the third side bc is the third side because we have already taken two sides ab and ac whose midpoints have been taken up so the line joining the midpoints of two sides will always be parallel to the third side which is bc also along with that the length of pq will be half that of bc so this is what we have to prove now for proving this what is that we require let's see what is that we require see you have to prove that bc PQ is parallel to BC. Fine. So how can we prove that PQ is parallel to PQ BC? Look at this figure. We need to prove either that angle five or and this particular angle they are equal. If we are able to prove these two angles equal, the line will be parallel. Parallel. Remember, children. If you have a transversal and there are two lines. which are parallel to each other then the pair of angles that we find here this is one pair of angle these two angles will be equal provided these two lines are parallel it's converse if the, these two angles are equal the lines will be parallel to each other so we want to have this line parallel to it that means we need to get the relation between phi and this particular angle let me name this as b so these two angles have to be proved equal So when you look at this question, you'll find that it is not that easy to prove that phi and b are equal. So we look for an alternate way. What is that alternate way? Let us 
go in that we have already joined this line P and Q point P and Q we points have been joined so we find that if we can manage to use the previous thing that is something based on quadrilateral we might get this result so for that what we do is we take up a construction so that is what we have as a construction construction is to draw CD parallel to BP C D we are constructing CD parallel to BPA whatever it is it is BP or BPA it's the same line we have so it's parallel we are constructing CD parallel to BP fine now after that we find that we after when we join PQ we find that this is just a line segment line that we see so let us now extend this PQ to D so that's what we have done that is extend join PQ and extend it to D can you see the cursor and it's extended to D fine now we find that there are two triangles formed with this construction. What are the two triangles? A, P, Q and C, Q, D. Now in these two triangles, what are we looking at? Whenever we see any two triangles, we actually look for some relation. Relation means, what relation are we looking for? It's the congruence relation. So how do we get the congruence relation? Whatever elements are given equal, let us take it that First, like AP is equal to, AQ is equal to QC, that's given to us. So we have marked this length, that is AQ is equal to QC. And after that, we find that we are not able to go ahead. So let's go for the angles relation. We find that this angle 3 and this angle 4, they pair, are a pair of vertically opposite angles. Hence, they will also be equal. Now, apart from that, that is we have got, just recollect children, we have discussed all this. We have taken up one angle, we have taken up one side. What do you require for congruence is either you require one angle or you require a side. Now another side means it has to be something related to PQ and AP for the triangle CDQ also. Which we find that we are not able to relate it. So we will look for the angle combination. So that is this is the combination that we look for. We find that we are able to get it. See. Angle 1 and angle 2 will be equal. Why are they equal? What is the relation between A, P is your B. And this is C, D. This is C and D. So if you join this A to D, what do you find? This relation, this is the two lines are parallel. Hence, that's by construction. We have made a construction. Hence, these two pairs of angles will also be equal. So why are they equal? That's by construction because we have taken PB parallel to CD. That's a construction that you have which gives us the all this is alternate angles, a pair of alternate angles equality. So that's how we prove that the two triangles are congruent which is known as ASA. Now once the two triangles are congruent, we have the congruence of the two triangles. Something follows in it. What does that follow? that the remaining element, remaining elements are the sides. Now, what side do we have? PQ. PQ side, PQ side, can you see this? PQ side will be equal to what? Look at the pair of combination. PQ is paired from third and second angle. So, what should be taken up for the other triangle? It's the same pair, that is third and the second. So, that gives us QD. So, that's what I have written. PQ is equal to QD. And then also, what else do we have? AP, that the first pair, AP and the first third pair, CD, they will also be equal. AP will be equal to DC. That is, they are all parts of the congruent triangle. They are all con corresponding parts of the congruent triangle. But when you write this re result, that is AP is equal to DC, you will find that there is one more result in it. That is, AP is already equal to PB because P is the midpoint of AB. Fine? So, what do we get from here? That is PB and DC, they will also be equal. So where is PB? This PB. And what is CD? This line. So what information do we have? We constructed CD parallel to AB that and then joined P to Q which extended to D. So we got a parallelogram PDCB. So in this parallelogram, what are we getting? We are getting that PB is parallel to CD 
and PB is equal to CD. PB is equivalent to CD is by construction. PB equal to CD is just proved just now. So what is that says? It says that PB, PB, CD is a parallelogram. So that's the information that you get from this. That is, it will now be a parallelogram. Now, therefore, what should we go ahead now with? Since it's a parallelogram, we, we get this result. No, PQD, PQD will be parallel to BC because the other pair of opposite sides will also be parallel as well as equal. That's the property of parallelogram. If one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel, it's a parallelogram. Then that means the other pair will also be parallel and equal. So we get that result that is PQD is parallel to BC. So we have proved that BB is parallel to BC. Now what is required? That we have to find the length of PB which is half the length of BC. Now we have seen through the conference of the triangle that PB, PQ is equal to QD. So therefore, is it Q the midpoint of PD? Now, Q is the midpoint of PD means P twice of PQ will be BC because PD is equal to BC. B PD, the full length is equal to BC. Therefore, twice PQ will be equal to BC. So, which says that PQ will be equal to half of BC. So, what does the theorem say? The theorem says that a line joining midpoints of any two sides of a triangle will always be parallel and that it will be the length of it will be half the base that is the third side right so this is a midpoint theorem now we move on to the converse of it converse of it says that if you have a line segment line which is passing through the midpoint of one side of a triangle it's passing through the midpoint of one side of a triangle and it's parallel to the second side will pass through the midpoint of the third side. So we have the line AC which is parallel to QR and its midpoint A is midpoint of PQ. Then we have to prove that it will definitely pass through the midpoint of the third side. Now the third side here means the side like PR. So how do we take up? So again we draw a line RU. We'll take a line RU which is parallel to PQ. Is this clear, Nupurji, from the cursor? Now, yes. what we get from here is A, Q, R, C is a parallelogram. Now, A, Q, R, C parallelogram. We have this as construction, that is A, A Q is parallel to C, R is constructed. And we already have A, B, C, which is parallel to Q, R. So what is that we see? We find that ye a quadrilateral may both the pairs are parallel. So any quadrilateral with both the pairs parallel will always be a parallelogram. Okay? We are repeating all the properties each time. So this se bache aap log kabhi bhool nahi sakte properties. All the time same same properties are repeated. So what we find is RC will be equal. That is opposite once. It's a parallelogram. Parallelogram kya bolte ki opposite sides will be, both the pairs of opposite sides will be equal. And if it AQ pal equal to CR, AQ length will be equal to CR. And AQ is actually equal to PA. AQ is equal to PA. So therefore, we find that PA will be equal to RC. Take it? Yek information. Now actually we have to prove that PB is equal to BR. So, when you have to PV equal to PR prove karna hai, we will have to see the relation between the two triangles. So, again, we go for the congruence of the two triangles. Now, we already have proved that PA is RC and we have angle 3 equal to angle 4, angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because of the same relation that is they are parallel. Hence, we find the two triangles are congruent. Once two triangles are congruent, then automatically the Remaining elements will always be true. That is, PB will be equal to PR. Hence, B will be the midpoint of PR. Fine. So, these two theorems are also equally important to prove certain results. So, we have to prove theorems ka bhi acha information hona because that is how we prove certain results. Like, we have this question. 
अब ये क्वेश्चन में क्या दिखा है कि ए बी सी डी एक क्वार्टर लेटरल है फाइन ए बी सी डी इज अ क्वार्टर लेटरल और पी क्यू आर एस जो है मिड पॉइंट्स है साइड्स ए बी बी सी एंड सी डी के ठीक है पी इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए बी क्यू इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस आर इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ डी सी एस इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए डी तो हमें क्या प्रूव करना है कि एस आर इज पैरल टू ए सी एस आर इज पैरल टू ए सी एस आर इज पैरल टू ए सी अब ध्यान से देखिए सिर्फ इस ट्राइंगल पर फोकस करिए ए डी सी इसी ट्राइंगल पर आप फोकस करिए ए डी सी वॉट इंफॉर्मेशन डू वी हैव एस मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए डी आर मिड पॉइंट ऑफ डी सी आर मिड पॉइंट ऑफ डी सी एस मिड पॉइंट ऑफ डी ए तो अभी जो हमने मिड पॉइंट थियोरम देखा है वो क्या है द लाइन ज्वाइन इन द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ टू साइड विल बी Parallel to the third side AC, है ना निपुर जी इज इट क्लियर एस आर विल बी पैरल टू ए सी अब आप दूसरी तरफ से देखिए फ्रॉम दिस ट्रम दैट इज ए सी एंड बी इसमें भी आपको दिख रहा है कि P is the midpoint of AB, Q is the midpoint of CQ, CD. तो वो द लाइन सेगमेंट बी पी क्यू ये लव जो लाइन है P एंड Q ज्वाइन करते हुए जो लाइन बना है वो टिट बी पैरल टू ए सी तो हमें क्या मिला रिलेशन एस आर जो है पैरल टू ए सी है पी क्यू एस पैरल टू ए सी तो अगर दो लाइन एक लाइन से पैरल है दैट इज यू हैव वन लाइन ये दोनों लाइन आपस में ये एल है ये एम है एल इज पैरल टू एम और ये और दिया है कि देर इज अनादर लाइन एन विच इज पैरल टू एम सो दे फो इफ एल इज पैरल टू एम एम इज पैरल टू एम We have a relation that M and N, that is L and N, will also be parallel. They do, both will also be parallel to each other. That's a relation that we have. L is parallel to L is parallel to N. So we have this relation that is L is parallel to N. Ye same use kiya yahan pe. S R parallel to A C. S R parallel to A C. And P Q parallel to A C. So we find that SR and PQ will be parallel to each other. अब SR are parallel to each other. अब यहाँ पे भी देखिए SR is half of AC, PQ is half of AC. We say that SR and PQ will be equal. So a जो pair of opposite side है, one pair of opposite side is parallel as well as equal. So if one pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral is parallel and equal, then that is a parallelogram. so that is what we have proved all the three results have been proved in it fine so ye midpoint theorem se hi hum prove kar paaye hain ye now let me take up another example example ye hai a b c d is a rhombus ab aapke paas ye figure hai a b c d a b c d is a rhombus ab a b c d is a rhombus that means all sides of the पैरलोग्राम ए बी सी डी आर इक्वल क्योंकि ये एक रॉम्बस है सो रॉम्बस इज अ टाइप ऑफ पैरलोग्राम वेट ऑल साइड आर इक्वल ठीक ना आपको इसमें क्या प्रूव करना है कि पी क्यू आर एज द मिड पॉइंट पी क्यू आर एज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द साइड ऑफ द रॉम्बस अगर हमने उससे कॉड्रिलेटर बनाया तो दैट कॉड्रिलेटर इज अ स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ पैरलोग्राम दैट इज इट्स अ रेक्ट एंगल अभी हमने एक क्वेश्चन देखा है कि एनी क्वार्टरलेटर आप कोई भी क्वार्टरलेटर के मिड पॉइंट्स को ज्वाइन करेंगे कोई भी क्वार्टरलेटर लो आप उसके मिड पॉइंट्स को ज्वाइन करते हुए एक नया क्वार्टरलेटर बनाएंगे तो यू फाइंड दैट दिस क्वार्टरलेटर विल ऑलवेज बी अ पैरलोग्राम ये एक रिजल्ट है तो आपको ये सिर्फ एक पैरलोग्राम नहीं प्रूव करना इट इज अ रेक्टेंगल तो कैसे हम रेक्टेंगल प्रूव करेंगे दैट इज वॉट यू हैव टू सी पैरलोग्राम तो रहेगा ही रहेगा उसके अलावा इट हैज बी प्रूव एज ए रेक्टेंगल अब रेक्टेंगल का क्या है कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स रेक्टेंगल के प्रॉपर्टी हमने लास्ट क्लास में पढ़ा था लास्ट के लास्ट क्लास में दैट इज बोथ द डायगनल्स विल बी इक्वल इन लेंथ या ईच एंगल 90 डिग्री दैट इज मेजर ऑफ ईच एंगल आप ये प्रूव करिए कि मेजर ऑफ दिस एंगल और दिस एंगल दैट इज ऑल द एंगल्स मेजर्स ऑल द एंगल्स ऑफ द कॉर्डोलैक्ट्रल मेजर्स नाइन्टी डिग्री और आपके पास दूसरा ऑप्शन है कि आप दोनों डायगनल्स जो लेंथ है पी आर एंड क्यू एस ये दोनों इक्वल इन लेंथ 
आपके पास दो चॉइस है या तो आप प्रूव करिए कि ईच एंगल 90 डिग्री या तो आप प्रूव करिए कि डायंगल्स आर इक्वल इन लेंथ तो आप कौन सा प्रूफ यूज करेंगे लेट्स सी आपको सबसे पहले बार हमारे पास मिड पॉइंट थ्योरम से वी नो दैट पी क्यू पी क्यू जो है इट्स पैरल टू ए सी एंड हाफ ऑफ ए सी लाइक वाइज एस आर इज पैरल टू ए सी एंड हाफ ऑफ ए सी तो वी हैव दिस पी क्यू आर एस ये पहला पार्ट तो पूरा हो गया कि इट्स अ पैरल होगा अब ये पैरल हो रहा है मैं हमें रेक्टैंगल प्रूव करना है तो अगर आप ध्यान से देखेंगे तो यू फाइंड दैट देखो ये जो पी आर है पी आर इज एक्चुअली द डायगनल ऑफ दिस पैरलोग्राम पी क्यू आर एस दिख रहा है आपको पी आर इज द डायगनल ऑफ द पैरलोग्राम पी क्यू आर एस लाइक वाइज क्यू एस इज द डायगनल ऑफ द अदर डायगनल ऑफ द पैरलोग्राम पी क्यू आर एस अब आप बिल्कुल आराम से देखिए फिगर को पी आर डी ए पी आर डी ए ये क्या दिख रहा है आपको P क्या पॉइंट है ए बी का मिड पॉइंट है R क्या पॉइंट है डी सी का मिड पॉइंट है तो एक्चुअली क्या किया हमने जो हमारे पास जो रॉम्बस है उसको हमने फोल्ड कर दिया फोल्ड कर दिया अलॉन्ग दिस सो इज एंड इट हाफ दैट इज ये जो साइड है दिस विल ऑलवेज बी ये जो साइड है पी क्यू जो है इट इज पी ए बी इज पैरल टू डी सी देखो ए पी विल बी पैरल टू डी आर और ए P is equal to CD, therefore AP will be equal to DR. So that means APRD a parallelogram बनता है. तो APRD is a parallelogram. इससे हमारे पास एक relation आएगा कि PR and AD that is PR opposite to AD it will be equal. Similarly आप इस तरफ भी देखिए BQSA बी क्यू एस ए भी एक पैरलोग्राम बनता है क्योंकि Q एंड S मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस ऑपोजिट साइड है तो बी क्यू एस ए विल ऑल्सो बी अलोग्राम इसके कारण वी हैव क्यू एस द साइड ऑपोजिट साइड ऑफ दैट पैरलोग्राम एंड ए बी क्यू एस एंड ए बी विल ऑल्सो बी इक्वल अब ये पी एस पी आर और क्यू एस को हम इक्वल प्रूव करने चल रहे हैं तो उसको कैसे प्रूव करेंगे बिकॉज ए बी एंड ए डी ए बी जो है वो ए डी के इक्वल है बाई आर दल बिकॉज दिस इज अम्बल्स रॉम्बल्स में ऑल फोर साइड आर इक्वल सो वी हैव दिस रिजल्ट दे फो वी फाइंड दैट अ पैरलोग्राम विच हैज बोथ द डायग्नल्स इक्वल इज दे फोर अ रेक्टैंगल सो वी प्रूव दैट पी क्यू आर एस इज अ रेक्टैंगल फाइन नाउ वी मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन This is a very good question from based on this. Now, you see, A B C is a triangle which is right angle at C. That is C pe 90 degree bana. A line through midpoint M. Ye M hai M midpoint of A C that is A B the hypotenuse and parallel to B C intersect A C at D. ठीक है ये एक line है. This is one line which is parallel to given. It's given parallel to B C given hai. And A M is the midpoint, so A M will be equal to M B. So, सबसे पहला proof क्या करना है अपने को D is the midpoint of A C. जो D है A C का midpoint. अब आप बताइए कैसा result है ये? ये क्या question है? Isn't it? That is the first result. First result we have D is midpoint. Why is it midpoint? Because that's of A C. The reason is what's the reason? It's the कन्वर्स यू विल हैव टू राइट बच्चों आपको पूरा स्टेटमेंट लिखना पड़ेगा कन्वर्स ऑफ द मिड पॉइंट थियरम मिड पॉइंट थियरम का कन्वर्स है ये मिड पॉइंट थियरम का कन्वर्स क्या कहता है कि अगर एक लाइन है विच इज पासिंग थ्रू मिड पॉइंट ऑफ वन साइड पैरल टू सेकेंड साइड विल पास थ्रू द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द थर्ड साइड सो ऑब्वियसली इट हैज टू पास थ्रू मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द मिड द थर्ड साइड दैट इज ए सी सो डी हो गया मिड पॉइंट ए सी का सो वी फाइंड दैट द लिंक ए डी will be equal to dc so we prove that's the first part now the second part is md is perpendicular to ac ma'am now i would Aba request you perpendicular prove karna hai ma'am now Anji. i would request you to wind up this session MD because md is perpendicular see ye line is line ke parallel hai so what is the relation that we have they form a pair of alternate interior angle so what is that we'll get from your measure of angle 1 and measure of angle 2 will add up to 180 degree because l is parallel to bc and if they add up to 180 degree and then 
one of the measure is 90 degree. So don't we have the result that angle one is 90 degree? So which proves that MD is equal to, MD is perpendicular to S. Sure, sure, I'm just winding up. I'm winding up. Now, the another thing that we have is CM is equal to MA and which is half of AB. Now, look at this line. What is this line? Yaad karke dekho, bachcho, recollect karke dekhe. L is a line which is actually perpendicular to a line joining two points AC. AC ko perpendicular as well as bisecting it. Hence, any point on that line will be equidistant from the two points. Therefore, MC will be equal to AM. Now, M is a midpoint, so it will be half of C. So, we have proved that result. So, I was just saying that how this is how we conclude that is for any parallelogram, if the quadrilaterals have opposite pairs equal, opposite sides are parallel, both the pairs of opposite angles are equal, one pair of opposite sides are equal as well as parallel or diagonals bisect each other, that's a parallelogram. Rectangle, each angle is 90 degree. The diagonals of rectangles are equal. Rhombus may all four sides are equal and for rhombus the diagonals they are perpendicular to each other. And then square pe kya hoga? If the diagonals are equal as well as they are perpendicular bisector of each other. So ye sab points agar yaak rakhenge to aap log definitely thank you. question. Thank you so much ma'am for sharing this valuable information with us. Thank you so much ma'am. Thank you. Viewers, I hope you find this session really helpful and it's time for me to wind up this session. Take care. Namaskar.